Hi guys and welcome to the Rainbow Six Replays YouTube channel. Today we want to present the video highlights of the match between G2 Esports and Into the Breach during the Europe League 2024 Stage 2. Don't forget to subscribe and put a like. Enjoy. Qualification is also an international event. Now they didn't really do that well in the international stage. But they're also still a relatively new team. As Noah just gets the first kill onto Alamal, a second one to follow up on that. I mean, bit scrappy, bit close quarters. ITB, there's one more. Kenny gets the end of Doki. It's just probably going to be ending very soon and with only a single way. And it's ITB picking up the round. You know, just has to fight through too much. There's not enough time. He gives away his position, instantly gets swung on an ITB, gets you know, a relatively equal map. I think a 3-3 would be um, th this part, which is quite awkward um, for Blast. <laughs> uh, but I think a 3-3, so really relying on their defense here today. It's bringing it quite close there, just uh, tippy-toeing around. As there's still Wolf and Lawyer though, so that is going to be a huge opener once more. As the r Heroes Heroes removed from the equation, we know how important Flores can be, especially with clearing out the whole blue side of the map. I mean, it's Lyra. They, you Rainbow. know, they said that he's generally not quite been able to get his teeth into the roster as much as... Where are they going to try and make this first road oh, in? They're getting back. themselves a pocket of space, and Doki finds it right in the bathroom, sprays towards the mirror window and tucks close, but he can't take the goo mine out yet. The pressure never ended. Great bits of motion there from ITB to ensure that they could very quickly get a response towards that bit of control that G2 tried to rest. He's still resting, and Kenny joins him on the floor, but is instantly taken out as Creeds gets the revenge. The swing round, 15 seconds. They finally break their way closer and closer, but with the concern of anywhere being swung on, they have to try and hold a very narrow angle. Great take from Creeds. Puts us into what is a two versus one with the last bit mopped up there. Stay there until they're either shot off or until the Mew Gemma is taken care of. Some oh. exploration done, but will this be the pick yeah. back up? It will, Doki. Done once the second. Not going to waste the time on the reload, but Lawyer is going to instead pay focus. See if they can maybe try and get some of the work done on the site itself. Keep the structure falling apart. Make things uncomfortable for the players inside. That's when you can potentially punish mistakes. Uno finds Azza. Nalamal slips his way in towards site. It's a bit too fiery to be on the other side of the shield, so he's at danger of the vertical that they haven't quite cleared. There's a boss G that isn't the boss of them. Loira gets it and Oscar gets Uno. It's trades back and forth and with a clash. These two remaining players inside the site are just going to have to tune it They've bolted off one door. They've got the cover on the other side. The call should come out. So they hear it round close on the wall, but a great swing by Loira. And now it's a clash alone, and Kendra is a great shield player, but if we compliment the pace play, I drifted a bit away from them. Yeah, because that round from the start was quite doomed. I mean, he lost Blaz. I mean, it, it doesn't bring away the, the most utility. Even these are nice to have, but not crucial. But then losing at the second player as well to the boss G, being in a 5v3 is, is, is quite detrimental. So the fact that they managed to get the plant off and able to... Uh, as Oscar is waiting, throws a C4, gets fully blinded. No, he does not, but still taken down, though, as he goes aggressive. Didn't expect Doki to be hanging from the ceiling there. It's a bit strange that he didn't expect that fight. You know, decisions are made, and unfortunately that one didn't quite go to his favor. Neither did that one. That is two of three dead players, dead outside of the map so far from the side of the defense. And it seems like Noah wants to try and put that balance back in. Does get one caught out, Alamau. And they've got to start trying to make little motions like that. Kendra is blinded, pulls himself a bit further down blue. Tuck's ready for the fight. The spray over the top. They are still very close. And there are hot pings, but he's about to be swung from somewhere else as Noah goes down. Well, it was just an encircling that came on the back of it. But they're still going to see if they can get the lock in the plant. You need a reaction here. You need a response instead. What you've got is a post-plant situation. Oscar's down. There's a kill. There's some trades coming out the back in. The run out. Doesn't it some results? But a post-plant here is very, very awkward. They have the Sens, the Nomad, and the Glass. People whose active gadgets are probably lesser used at this point. ITB you need to see if they can try and isolate it. They picked up Oscar. Got him back into the force. We'll hear the door ripped and Alamal more than ready. But as Noah gets Blaz, hits the air jab. Worried oh, about the swing. Oh, They're going for the, the castle. Counter defuse the castle on the window. Brilliantly played by ITB. And you can see it on Kendrew. And that 
They did it at the same time as the run out. We were watching this. So was Alamau, and that's when they were doing it above. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant combination of comms there from ITB. Things you love to see. Unless you're G2 in that situation. But even they were smiling. The floor gets shredded. The hatch has been opened. G2 have everything to work with above, apart from the kills. And that is that problem. Oh. Doki finds Oscar, who attempted to swing his way all the way up top. As it was tempted by the revenge, they thought they saw an opportunity, but I guess a little bit of misinformation on the blue camera has netted a negative result. Two more. And I said they were trying to sit down and wait, but apparently they disagreed with that. 20 seconds, Kendry versus the world. And the one versus five. Uno's getting the plant. Doki's looking for the fight. Does get one, but he's fired off. He can't get any closer. And G2 keep a if they uh, weren't castled off that quickly in the master battle. 15 seconds left. Are activating. Running the shoulder jiggle maths on as many different windows as possible. ITB, they don't have a route through and they might just have to brute force their way out. I was going to say, as Alamo gets one, they tried to enter underneath. Lawyer had the watch. They weren't quite sure of that position that had been held since the start of the round. Pushes them into the four versus two. Now they have a bit of terrain, but Blaz is not that far away. They haven't got the verticality and they're aware of it. The spray oh, comes Kelly. through as a great bit of awareness. Top floor after a scrappy fight now, finally in control of ITB. Still having to go down. They do have drones. They do have information. Now they need to get the opportunity to get the kill, which they do. Laura gets taken down through the wall. They had the drone, they had the pings. Now it's an even two on two. Freezing metal. Using the Zodos to slow them down. The Nitro Cell might be crucial as he finds one. It almost got both. As I wasn't a million miles away from that. But the important swing is that it's come through here. The bulletproof is gone. But at this point, 20 seconds, you know, he's only really going to come from one direction. A Pre-place, quite deep down the corridor. But on this, the single door waiting for the swing. Can't get the connection. The first is there. It's sprayed either side. He's tucked inside the site itself. But at this point, it's G2 just holding a corner. There's one, but I say it. He's just going to sit and wait for the next, though. Very explosive rounds in that first half. A lot of engagements happened, whether it was... You know, early in an early end to a round or late and later into a round, it was still very spicy right there at the end. And it could have been, if that had been a clutch, that would have been mega. But also they were in these positions to swing into these fights and pocketfuls of seconds left. Before somebody gets that risky jump out now, right? Where you don't really have the second or even half of it to go at. Nook also had a change and we'll see if it nets a result. There's at least one. What a drive through. As we said, it took a while to get some of the control there of the top when it was a different site. This time, they came in with a different energy. And it worked pretty well as Alamount's doing his best to hold on. Let's get the drop onto one. Quickly picked up by the second G2. They're not a million miles away. Now, but in the meantime, the plant is going to go down. There is a Nitro Cell and Poker for Uno, but I don't think they actually have an idea that it's happening. And that means 45 seconds on the countdown. And it's just Doki, while well, just no one left on the side of G2 is ITB. Clean up. Doing bits on the international stage. They're both teams that from EUL across this year, at least, you might not have expected it from ITB before then. I think it's fair to say they're the, the fresh sort of roster, the fresh sort of changes. But coming into this, we thought, okay, they're still on. A little bit too long. Doki is paying more than enough attention. There's the blind. There's the pressure right through on the cut side. Uno caught unaware. The continuation of the attention on towards the side of the solarium stairs. The blinds come through. The smoke canisters pop off. As does Oscar finds Blaz. Doki, he's had to go on a big run around round. As Loira gets one on the back. They were aware of the player, but not quite when he would strike. There's a down above. And with a scrappy spray, Oscar still netting bodies inside. It's so close close and dancing around it, ITP. What has we found? Now Noah playing on the actual balcony with the Deimos. As soon as they get a ping that he's out there, he just steps up and gets the kill. And it's exactly what they were waiting for. A nice little bait and switch between him and... But now at this point, you've still got Creed's trying to creep his way inside the side. If he can get a kill here onto the back line, 
Well, we'll never know because lawyers are a bit of unknown patience and the G2 get a little bit angsty, but they're otherwise not really moving out. Oscar's inside the site, dies from the same player. I think they dropped the hatch as oh, they hit it, but still a lot of kill. It's fire underneath as well, but Lawyer has stepped up high enough to actually not be damaged by it until he managed to get that kill. So maybe they were expecting it to be clear in that corner. I'm not quite sure. In a way, it's a two on five situation now with Azar jumping into the library, being the last man alive. He's going to be challenged from the door by Alamau. He's going to get that final kill as well. It's two for him and a flawless round for G2 just to get things back. Sees the side of a ponytail, but can't quite get there. Trading throws and a misthrown keeper, but it's a swing oh. around from Alamau for two more. Swings down blue. Uno gets one and leaves just Kendrew another time. The players in a one versus five. And unfortunately, on the wrong side of a space of fire. That's the shit. Hmm. Wait for his demise. An ace. It's at least a 4K. Run out from the site of ITB. We're about to get going. And, and I mentioned it. Alamau being up on top there. He's going to challenge you as soon as you start doing anything on the first floor. And then they start pushing down blue. But it's just a bit mad. Like a, a bit a bit of more revealed than they know. How much will they sit around and try and get the kill? They have all the pings. They have all the intel. And Doki gets the kill out of it back all the way to the side completely so many moments slipping through the fingers here of itb and not the same can be said